right, Miles, let's talk about the Bengals here for a little bit. Obviously, the draft is right around the corner. It should be coming here any day now. I'm sure a lot of Bengals fans, frankly, any fan of any NFL team is really excited. And we've got a really interesting report about a name I think Bengals fans should come to know. Maybe not the first night of the draft, maybe not even the third night of the draft, but this could be a kind of a draft steal, a hidden gem that Cincinnati has turned his eyes on. Yeah, Nick, and speaking of the draft, speaking of, you know, hidden gems, things that, you know, may surprise us that the Bengals are going to do, I want to ask the fans in the comments below to let us know what is the most surprising move that the Bengals have ever done on draft night that you can remember. Let us know in the comments below what is the most surprising move the Bengals has, have done. And just remember to stay tuned to the end of today's video to listen, listen to a word from the partner of today's video, Neuro. But Nick, nonetheless, let's get into these draft gems that the Bengals are looking at. Yeah, so we always hear, and it's been this way the past few weeks, you always hear about guys at the top of the draft, at least first round talent. You hear about the big names, the quarterbacks, the pass rushers, the offensive tackles, all the guys that are going to be in the green room, the guys that are going to go the first night, all that kind of stuff. But the reality is for a team like the Bengals, they're already a really good team. Barring any sort of crazy injuries, they're going to make a deep playoff run. They're going to be where they were the last couple of seasons, likely against the Chiefs and the Bills and the AFC playoffs, trying to make a run this time to win a Super Bowl. To take that next step, obviously they want to avoid injuries and just keep getting better, but they also need to add key depth on the cheap and that's why the Bengals are scouting for hidden gems and according to a report from a to z sports they may have found one that could be an interesting target if you want to go ahead and throw up the report here mice uh i'll read from it limestone university defensive back damik brandon was at the cincinnati Bengals local day-to-day source says i'm told since he has a lot of interest in brandon with head coach zach taylor and defensive coordinator lou anarumo meeting him today per league sources teams are impressed by his ability to play anywhere in the defensive backfield and his superb ability to return punts and kickoffs league sources say all right, Maya, so this is a guy here in Brandon. This is not a guy who's going to go day one. You're not going to hear him go day two. The odds are that he's going to get drafted is actually very small. He's probably going to be an undrafted free agent guy who the Bengals right now are trying to build that relationship to get him into the fold. And I know a lot of Cincinnati fans are like, why should we even care at all about an undrafted free agent defensive back coming into the fold for a team that's already this good? And the answer is very clearly, like I already said, Depth matters. Getting quality, cheap players matters. And if you really need to know, you need to just look back to the 2014 season when an un- unknown, undrafted rookie defensive back named Malcolm Butler made the greatest defensive play in Super Bowl history to make sure that Tom Brady and New England Patriots held on to the Super Bowl victory against the Seattle Seahawks. Depth matters at certain positions, offensive line being one, defensive line being another, and defensive back being a third. And making sure you have quality depth, a guy you like, a guy that can fit into your scheme at a cheap price is critical for a team like the Cincinnati Bengals who are trying to you know, overcome the difficulties they had the last couple of seasons, winning that big game and win that title. They've been this close. The margin for error is so small. They're right there. A couple breaks go their way, they beat the Rams. A couple breaks go their way, they beat the Chiefs, and they go back to the Super Bowl. Getting a guy like, uh, like Brandon here who could potentially be a quality quality depth player make a big play like a Malcolm Butler could potentially be the final piece to make sure they capture the title with the core they have around Burrow and Jamar Jamar Chase company right now. Myers, what do you think of the Bengals targeting this guy? I think it's a smart move going after these kind of like forgotten guys, maybe get undrafted late round guys to help shore up your shore up the depth on your team. Yeah, Nick. And it's really interesting because you see, you look at Brandon, you break down uh, where he's been, where he's going. He, he starts out at Rhode Island University, and then he jumps over to Limestone University, which is in South Carolina uh, near us. And you, you hear he's at the Bengals' local day. Well, of course, he's from Cincinnati, Ohio, born and raised, went to high school there as well. So this is a true deep cut, a guy that was small school bound uh, all the way across the country on the East Coast. Uh, goes back up north, comes back home to Cincinnati. In Cincinnati, the Bengals have kept their eye on this guy. Uh, they've been watching him. You love it when a local guy comes back home, and if it's a guy that he really feels like the Bengals have cared about him because he's so such a small-level uh, prospect school-wise, the Bengals have kept their eye on him. If they pick him up, I think it's going to be like a really natural chemistry-wise fit. He loves the Bengals. He's from Cincinnati. When a team like that picks you, there's just a little bit more pep in your step, a little bit more urge to, you know, go prove yourself. You want to play in front of your friends, family, everybody back home in Cincinnati. So it means a little bit more. It's almost like being the SEC. But, uh, Nick, I just think this is a really interesting move because the Bengals just, it's crazy to me that they they have tabs on a guy like this who is such an unknown prospect to most of the other league, but they have looked at him. And he really does seem to be quite the player. 
Yeah, and I think it's one of those things a lot of people don't understand about the undrafted free agent market. The moment the draft ends, it's just a massive bidding war for teams to fill out their rosters with quality talent that wasn't drafted. And the way a lot of teams have to do it is they have to spend money on signing bonuses. They offer these players 50K, 30K, 75K, things like that. But going after a local kid, to your point, Mize, they will not have to offer him theoretically as much money because as a guy with connections to Cincinnati, he obviously feels like he's a good fit with Anna Rumo's defense. The Bengals could offer him a low ball deal, right? Relatively speaking, in terms of undrafted free agent low ball deals get him in the fold relatively cheap and use some of that cap savings to maybe get another depth guy in the undrafted free agent market and that's the mindset that Bengals are in right now understanding they have to work around their star players the bros is the chase and the massive contracts they are going to hold they have to be creative find some other ways to fill out their roster with quality guys i think that's why they're doing this i think there's really good roster management by the entire Bengals organization finding a guy who could be a good fit for their team one Number two, could come in cheap. And number three, open up some extra cap space to get other depth guys after the draft. All in all, I think the Bengals are doing everything right in their preparation. I know Bengals fans are probably like, why the heck are we talking about this guy? But trust me, these moves really matter come playoff time. All right, Miles, we would like to give a special thanks to our partner today's video, Neuro. That's right, Nick. And I want you to go with me on a journey really fast. I want you to imagine this. It's fourth and goal in the big game, Nick. Your team is relying on you to make the big-time game-winning play. I know you've been in this situation before, Nick. The stadium is roaring. The clock is ticking. The game is on the line. But if only in that moment you were able to have some neuro gum. Neuro gum will help you stay concentrated, and it gives you a burst of energy without a nasty crash. That's right, Mize. Neuro has thoughtfully curated ingredients and does endless, endless lab testing, which means that you can reach the right state of mind safely and consistently. That's the most important part. It gives you a clean burst of energy and focus without the jitters of coffee or any of those other energy drinks. That's right, Nick. And if you click our sponsor link in the description below, you can enjoy energy, calm, and focus whenever you need it. <laughs> 